Trapped in Haiti as political violence has overtaken the country tonight, Mitch Album and nine others have been rescued, thanks in large part to a Florida congressman. Michigan Congresswoman Lisa McLean announced the rescue during an Armed Services Committee hearing in D.C. earlier today, and it tops our news at 10. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Her office, along with a congressman out of Florida, coordinated a helicopter rescue operation for Album and nine others who were in Haiti at the orphanage he's run since 2010. Mar McDonald is live downtown at Aymar. Much raised the alarm. Mitch, I should say, raised the alarm that they were stuck there last week. We did the story. Uh, we sure did, Kimberly. And I mean, Haiti is in bad shape right now. Their prime minister is out of the country. Gangs have essentially taken over Haiti to the point that they now run the airport. The entire country is under a state of emergency. There's no planes, there's no boats, there's no uh, way out. Everything's been shut down by the gangs. Album last week describing what is at best a volatile situation in Haiti, at worst deadly. There have been prison breaks, gangs roving the country. The prime minister is in Puerto Rico. It is chaos. Album has long run an orphanage in Haiti and was there with a group from Michigan working when all this erupted. Congresswoman Lisa McLean heard about his situation and reached out to her colleague, Florida Republican Congressman, Corey Mills. Last night, I coordinated with Congressman Corey Mills to rescue several Americans trapped in Port-au-Prince. Congressman Mills actually participated in the rescue of those Americans abandoned by the Biden administration and the State Department. And revealed in an Armed Services Committee meeting this afternoon that Album's group had been rescued via chopper by Congressman Mills, who was an Army combat vet. This isn't the first time Mills has stepped into dangerous situations to get Americans out, including Afghanistan and Israel, after the Hamas attack. Album, in a statement, expressed his gratitude, but also his worry. I had a responsibility to bring home eight wonderful volunteers who were working with us, but my wife's and my heart's ache for our kids still there. Saying goodbye to them this time was horribly difficult. We pray for help in making their country safe for them again, and we will be back with them the moment it is possible. Back here live now, Congresswoman McLean spent a good portion of her time in armed services this afternoon grilling those in front of the committee about the United States' response to what's going on in Haiti. And the reality is the U.S. Embassy is still open in Haiti. The government has taken what they consider non-essential government personnel out of there, but they have not offered any sort of assistance to any sort of civilians. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. Yeah, incredible. Okay, Mara, thank you.